two mast cam Z cameras up on the mast, two meters, six feet or so above the surface, spin around 360 up and down. They are two of 25 cameras brought to Mars, but they're two of the most powerful science cameras on the mission. I'm Jim Bell, I'm a professor here in the School of Earth and Space Exploration at ASU. And I am what they call the PI, or the Principal Investigator of the Mass Cam Z Imaging System for NASA's 2020 Mars rover. We have very high resolution capability, stereo capability, to study the geology, to study the atmosphere, to make 3D models of the landscape, to make 3D models of the surface right in front of the rover where the arm has to go down, the arm with that drill, that coring drill. Where are the rocks? What are their shapes? What are their colors? Do they have layers in them? Are they meteorites? Are they chunks of volcanic lava? Are they sedimentary rocks? We don't know the answers to those questions yet, but we're starting to build up those, those answers with, with the images and trying to figure out where should we deploy these super precious, high fidelity instrument assets that can only work on tiny little places. The Mars Sample Return Program is the program that's gonna be bringing back those samples that are collected by the Perseverance rover. My name is Minakshi Wadwa and I'm director of the School of Earth and Space Exploration here at Arizona State University. There's two missions. One is a sample retrieval lander, which is going to land on the surface of Mars, pick up the samples that have been collected by the Perseverance rover, launch into orbit, go into Mars orbit, and then there's also a second component, a mission called the Earth Return Orbiter. That's gonna rendezvous with the sample that's in Mars orbit, capture it, and bring it back to Earth. Getting some actual pristine materials of Mars that are well-characterized samples that are also carefully chosen, actually, understanding the geologic context and, and then bringing them back here. That's gonna be fantastic because, you know, the biggest question that we have about Mars is, was there life on Mars? Uh, we think it's really important to build that dossier for every sample we take so that you know, by this time in a year or two, by the end of the primary mission, we've got a notebook that says, okay, U.S. Congress, taxpayers, here's why we have to go get those samples. Here's, here's what they're gonna tell us, we think, about Mars, but here's, Here's why, here's why they're important, why we selected them. This is the first time it actually feels real that it's gonna happen within the next decade. 